Live. Real stories. Let's see what's trending in Indianapolis. This is Paul Poteet on The Edge. All right, and we are back, and we are back with Paul Poteet for a second week. We started the went so well last week. Let's bring him back he again for back. a second week. I've lasted longer than that guy at the White House, so there's. <laughs> and I've had not that I should joke because I've had I had a 90 day gig one time, but uh, you buy me you know three Manhattans, I'll tell you that story. <laughs> well, uh, maybe how about some peanut butter? Let's uh, do it over some peanut butter here. Well, we do have some uh, interesting uh, stories this week, guys. Uh, you know, uh, when we go on the edge, we're trying to you know scope out some of the things that I've gotten a lot of response to from uh, Indiana folks uh, online lately. And yeah, there if, of all the ways you could bust out of the stir, would you have thought that peanut butter would have been one of them? I think I saw that on an episode of Prison Break. So <laughs> you guys are too young to remember a show called Hogan's Heroes, but uh-huh. <laughs> it was sick. Or they're always, you know, implausibly, you know, eluding uh, the German captain. It sounds like an episode of a sitcom or something. <laughs> there are 12 inmates. They're in an Alabama jail. There's a young jailer, new on the job. And, you don't uh, say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to have somebody with the seniority around, you know. Yeah. Uh, it happened about 6.30 Sunday night. The jailer opened a door to the outside that he thought was a cell door because the number had been covered with people. Peanut butter. Interesting. Just, yeah. Everyone let that hit your brain and really soak, soak in with that. that hopefully yeah. they yeah. use chunky peanut butter because chunky peanut butter is the worst. <laughs> wow. Oh, you don't like chunky peanut butter? No. As I've gotten older, I, like eating, I love to eat rocks with my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's what... <laughs> well, I appreciate, you know, the, you become consumed with fiber uh, as you age. And and so I've decided that chunky peanut butter probably <laughs> has more fiber yeah, I was, in it. I was, how, how did they... You don't think they'll just I'm gonna cover this in peanut butter and you won't know and it's crazy. you have to have a lot of chutzpah, you know, you to do. Yeah, to think it's gonna work, but sometimes to. you know it's like sales. Half the uh if, if half the uh, battle of convincing someone is do you believe it or 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 not? And they believed it, and so he opens up the cell door to the man <laughs> thinking that he was gonna go into a cell, but he just he opens up the door to the outside. <laughs> and how do you not see? Did he have bad vision too? Do how you do you not, not see s- the outside? Well, and how do you not see that it's peanut butter that's yeah. covered? Do you just think it's some kind of spackle? <laughs> That smells really good. <laughs> that smells really good. And to the guys, was it like, you know, where they're throwing off one-liners in an action movie to the cops or to the uh, convicts? Oh, hey, be out in a GIF. You know, that kind of thing. Just wondering. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they got out. Uh, and eventually, I guess the update, I think with the screenshot we showed you, one was still at uh, large, and the, but he's not anymore. So he's uh, he's uh, been captured now. And uh, You know what? Good for him. Good for him. <laughs> That's he right. worked he, hard for that, and he, quite frankly, I'm proud of him. Okay. He uh, <laughs> lasted uh, longer outside than uh, you know. Really, a food-related escape is how I thought Martha Stewart might uh, bust out of the stir, <laughs> but you just don't expect that to happen. Uh, but you know, these things they never, you know, they always. It seems like they always get caught. I mean, one way or another. And I guess luckily, it doesn't look like anybody else was uh, injured yeah. in the process. But yeah, you really thought that it would work, and it kind. It kind of did. did. And it did. He got a little bit of freedom. Let's so. see if this happens again. <laughs> yeah. Another uh, story that got a lot of response was, this is, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if you guys think this is macabre or not, but dead people and pets are now being turned into lovely blue diamonds. Hmm. And there is a, uh, you know, a rough uh, memorial diamond there. Uh, you need... <laughs> You need someone, who obviously, to not be with us anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ingredient item one. one. <laughs> <laughs> and item two, obviously, they need to be uh, cremated. And the interesting thing that I found from reading the story is that, did you know that, like, two years ago, cremations passed traditional burials here in the U.S.? No. I, yeah, I, I, I did not know that. But huh. that typically leaves behind about five to 10 pounds of ashes. They need, this company says, they need a minimum of one pound. Mm. It's kind of the magic number, they say. So they, they, they look, they put like a little sample in a special oven Mm. and uh, see if, (laughs) 
if there's enough carbon to grow a diamond because you know we have within us you know we have uh, carbon, carbon and yeah. you know and that's needed to uh, grow a diamond so and the you... interesting the interesting thing is that once there's enough carbon the element is extracted and it's purified of contaminants like uh mm -hmm like salts. So, you know, if you feel you're near the end, you might want to go on a low sodium <laughs> diet, if, <laughs> if this is your plan. And, and then the other 1% contains impurities like boron, uh, which is an impurity that colors the rare blue diamonds found in nature. And that's why many of the memorial diamonds come out in blue, who knew? Uh, but the other thing is, to, you know, to make a diamond, you've got to, you know, it, time and, and pressure, right? So it says that they have to take what's left of you and uh, put it in a machine that uh, heats to about 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit and squeezes the cell under about 870,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. Now, guys, you think Aaron is pressuring you at work. <laughs> I was just Nothing. thinking that if it took, takes only one pound instead of five pounds, so you can you can split somebody up five ways. <laughs> That's right. Everybody, every, every child could have a diamond. You, put, you you get a diamond and you get a diamond. You get a diamond. Or, or you I, I don't in, know how much a dog a dog cremates uh, to. So you can, well, I would imagine it's probably my, yeah. I mean, it's tougher. My dog's my dog's ashes are sitting in. They made a little wooden box. From, and it just says Blake. They made like a little tag. It says Blake on it, and it sits above. Like if you go spend the night at my parents' house, it sits above the bed. <laughs> now, would would you do that? I mean, if. You know, if you had the money, because this cost, I mean, just for like, I yeah. guess the average order is about a, uh, a f maybe a half a carat. U.S. customers usually request an eighth, you know, point eight carat. The prices start at 3000 bucks. So, yeah. Nope. Yeah. It, you really have to. <laughs> but I do like that idea of dividing up the remains. You, it, like, so like if you have, <laughs> yeah. like I do, you know, we have two sons. And so we can say, you get, get the, done. you get a necklace, you get a bracelet. <laughs> there you go. You, you getting get written mom, into wills now. You get mom, you get dad. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Well, you, can do it, you can do it that way, too. Speaking of moms, our last item has to do with a mom giving birth to a lovely, beautiful calf. You know, hmm. all, the, yeah. all kids are beautiful to their moms. Maybe not this one. <laughs> The newborn calf has a striking resemblance to kiss rocker Gene Simmons. <laughs> Just really drink that in on the right there. If you're if you're away from your computer right now, come over and take a look at that. Uh, that's Gene, by the way, on the left. <laughs> it, is, it is kind of hard to tell if you're not yeah, right in up case on you, it. Yeah. you need a, a key and oh that that tongue thing. You don't know where that tongue has been, and uh, this and the same with a calf too. Exactly, either of them really. Yeah, the uh, calf was born last weekend at a ranch near Texas. They've named it Genie, G-E-N-I. Oh, and I guess it's a, a, a family favorite and it won't be sold for um, slaughter, the uh, family said. So slaughter, of course, I think is a different uh, uh, rock group. <laughs> and won't uh, be turned into any diamonds. Uh, no. Yeah, probably no, not cow, any diamonds. No cow diamonds. So, we, I did find, you know, uh, once you start Googling things, uh, it can be dangerous. But I, was, I did Google uh, animals that look like celebrities and I found one. More that was kind of funny too. This would involve <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Tyler and a howler monkey. <laughs> That's good. Yes, yeah, so we googled some other ones, and there's there's some great there's ones some great out there. ones out there. Everyone, so. stop what you're doing and just go Google it, and spend yes. the rest of the yeah. day. Yeah, after that day done. for productivity. Once <laughs> you start doing that. <laughs> well, if you're going to be out in the uh, next few days, there's a big change coming, guys, in the uh, in the forecast for the Indianapolis area. Look at that for Saturday and Sunday again, or well, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Paul, thanks for the nice temperatures. Yeah, so we we'll That's kind great. of uh, revert back to where we were last weekend. It won't be quite as stunning as last weekend was because I think it'll it may start clouding up during the afternoon. Sunday, and we'll probably have a round of showers and storms Sunday evening going into uh, Monday. And we've got chances of scattered storms around Wednesday afternoon, Thursday afternoon, and then probably a more solid band of uh, rain late Thursday night going into Friday morning with a cold front that puts us back into the 70s for a few days. So if you have weekend plans in Indianapolis, I mean, if you have to choose, I'd choose a Saturday. You're probably going to be okay most of the day on Sunday. But yeah, uh, I mean, it's still I just like the first, yeah. first few days of August. We nor Our normal high is still 84 degrees, so we're not typically done with summer yet. And uh, yeah, you know, I bet at the Indiana State Fair, they're probably uh, welcoming yes. those kind of temperatures too, because it could still be nasty hot this yes, time of year. Be.
Awesome. Yeah. Well, not hot enough to make a diamond. Not, mind not you. that hot. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Paul. Thanks for bringing us the, those wacky stories. And uh, <laughs> like we said in the beginning, he'll be back every week uh, to bring us the latest and greatest trends in Indianapolis and as well some weather. So And feel free to respond to us if you see yep. something uh, that I haven't seen that you think would be fun to uh, hear on the edge. We'll see you there online. Awesome.